Which is better, Joomla or WordPress? To answer this question, we need to look at three different areas of your website and what you hope to achieve from it. To start with, are you going to do the whole website yourself? Are you going to get designers in to help build how it looks? And are you going to get developers in to help give you functionality? Next, we need to look at what your website is actually going to provide to your customers. Is it an informational website? Is it going to provide commodities? Or is it going to provide function? And finally, what must your website have? What would you like your website to have? And what will your website need in the future? Let's have a look at all of these sections individually. The whole point of a content management system is to make it easier for you to update content at a future date. However, setting the website up in the first place can be the tricky part. Whether you decide to do it yourself, whether you bring designers in to help change the look and feel of your website, or whether you need to bring developers in to help bring in functionality, all of this is possible with both Joomla and WordPress. So the first thing to talk about with CMS systems is the content itself. Joomla uses content in articles, whereas WordPress uses content in posts. However, one advantage that Joomla has here over WordPress is that Joomla has multilingual capabilities already programmed in. So when you design your articles in Joomla, you can actually specify which language they are related to. WordPress does have multilingual plugins that you can install onto your site. This brings us on to extensions. In WordPress, an extension is referred to as a plugin and is quite a generic term for a multitude of different plugins that are available. In Joomla, plugins are referred to as extensions and these can either be components, modules or plugins. Additionally, there is a package which can include any or all of the aforementioned extensions. If you are unable to find an extension that meets your requirements perfectly, this is where you might need to contact a developer who can then create a plugin or an extension that will meet your needs. And finally, themes. Whether you want to keep the same look and feel across your whole site or whether you want different pages to look differently, this is where you use themes to achieve what you want. In WordPress, you can have one theme with multiple templates. Whereas in Joomla, you can have multiple templates that are usually set on a per menu item basis. Now, there are many templates available for both WordPress and Joomla. A quick search on Google for either will bring back thousands of different available options. However, one advantage that WordPress has over Joomla is built into WordPress. You can search for some of the more popular themes without even leaving your website. But if you're unable to find a template that specifically matches your needs, this is where you would want to contact a designer who could either create a child theme from a template that already exists or create a brand new bespoke template just for you. Let's break content down into three simple areas, information, commodity, and function. Information should be self-explanatory. However, commodity and function requires a little bit more explanation. When we talk about commodity, we're talking about anything that could be sold to your customers, whether this be an actual shop requiring full e-commerce or whether you're giving away documentation that requires the user to sign up it still potentially could run under the same process as e-commerce. Whereas function is where your website is giving some unique service to your customers that they can't find anywhere else. Each of these three areas come with their own requirements. Information might require designers to help you plan out how to lay the information out. Commodities might require designers and developers to give you a better looking shop and better functionality. Whereas function on its own could require a developer to design that particular part of functionality for your website. And now you know what content you want to have on your website, ask yourself three simple little questions. What must your website have to bring the customers in and give them the experience that you want to? What would you like your website to have to give your customers that little bit extra? And what will your website need in the future to bring those customers back? So which is better, Joomla or WordPress? It all depends on what you're going to do and what you want to achieve. If you're working with designers or developers, they might have their preference of which system to work with. If you're going to try and do it yourself, then you need to decide which system is actually going to work better for you. 
whether you're creating a multilingual site, creating a shop front, an e-commerce system, or whether you're providing a new online service that allows your customers to achieve something that's never been done before. All of these decisions will guide you towards which one to use. As a general rule of thumb, if you're using a simple website and you're just wanting to get information out there or you're wanting a, a simple little shop, then I'd go for WordPress. If you're looking for a more complex site that's got lots of clever things going on and lots of functionality and maybe online applications, then I would look at Joomla. Either way, both content management systems are a good choice for you to use to move your website forward.